Yeah, Meta, I, yesterday night oh, was a massacre, okay? Yesterday, I bought Meta 455, I think, around there. Lah. But I bought this uh, overnight trading. Leh. You got overnight trading, right, for IBKR. Yeah, just overnight trading. Lah. Yeah. Uh, then after Meta, I also bought the Amazon. I bought some more Amazon, remember? 153, I remember 153. Yeah, 153 is a crazy deal, man. I want to buy more. Then you went up. Oh, wow, damn sien, man. It's like I haven't had my feel yet, and nah. then wow, already finished it. What the fuck, man? But Amazon, I already buy the, the thing, no, uh, as per that one. No, if it keeps dropping, then okay, lo. I'll just collect it. Lo. Oh my god, this new Yahoo is too heavy on the Chrome or what? Nah. Anybody knows how can I assign more RAM to the Chrome? Ah? Because it's very slow, man, now. Or is it my computer too slow? Ah? My, 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 this one. My processor too slow. If my processor too slow, I buy new one, man. Shit. This is too lousy. Look at that. It's, it lags so bad, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like, how, how can I work like this? If it lags so bad. But when I use the this one, uh, it doesn't lag. Eh? It doesn't lag. Eh? Uh, it still lags, la, but not so bad. La. Alamak, the whole thing is lagging. Eh? Well, I don't know what to use now, eh? like that. I must find another uh, drawing software. La. I don't must find another drawing software or book already because it takes too long uh, for this tool, you see. That now then look finish. You got see not. So yesterday meta I think uh, meta wow oh, this meta is weird man. I, I think uh, I bought this 455. Right. Then after it go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Then I sent something wrong, I sold it uh, at the 480, 480 mark, right? Then yesterday I buy back again 455. Oh, I've been trading out, up, in and out, in and out of these. Uh. Wow, so many times. Uh, that I think uh, I'm starting to become like IV. Uh. Wow. Many times uh, I, I, I go sideways uh, on this on this meta thing. Because I think that it's kind of sideways, you know. Right. That's why I say that uh, this one is quite sideways. Uh. Maybe you can use the IV limbs technique. Uh. Okay. That's why I always tell you all. Uh, a lot of people, uh, you must learn uh, from other people. Must be humble, cannot be uh, too full of yourself. Uh. That's why I see I, I, I learn uh, something new from ID. Uh. Right. I, so I noticed that this thing goes up, then goes down. Goes up, then goes down. Goes up, then goes down. Then I was like, eh, this is quite good, man. Right. This is a very nice play. Just just buy at the lowest side, then sell at the higher side. Buy at the lowest side, sell at the higher side. Then ah, this pattern you can continue. Stop loss here, stop loss here. Right. Whenever you buy here, there's a stop loss here. Or you keep it lah. I mean it's quite cheap for you what for me. But whenever I sell here, there's a stop loss here. Okay? If I shot the thing, right? So yeah, I think uh, it's very important to be humble. Lah. Then you can learn more things. Lah. Right. You learn the skill lah. it's not uh it's not it's not you lose money no, like you lose your ego because you are you're not you're not smart lah. No lah, you gain something lah, okay? So I always tell people lah, uh, you know, the parable of the guy who was trying to go and learn lah, from an eminent monk lah. This is a Zen uh, story lah. So what the teacher did lah, was when he poured the tea lah, right, there's a cup lah, it keeps pouring lah, and then it overflows, bam, like that. So it just means that the student is so full that he can't receive the new teachings really. Okay. So opinionated of himself, of his uh, theory that, it, that cannot receive new technique really. Right. Okay. 
so my technique has always been the same and ever lah okay there's a bit of side techniques here and there okay my technique is always you buy cheap you sell expensive that's it right you buy when it's cheap then you sell when it's expensive how do you know whether it's cheap or not well uh you use the the valuation techniques you can use dcf uh the adam cool's dcf you can use the normal dcf okay you can use a normal dcf okay i also got normal dcf also if you want i can teach you also the the that one okay uh, i also got normal dcf i'm just telling you like it doesn't always work out as the way you want to like even the dcf like. okay and a lot of people they don't know when they do dcf they don't know how to do it properly i see yeah Mm, what do I think uh, about all these uh, happy events? Uh? So, I bought Meta, I bought Amazon also. Hopefully, when I change to Amazon, this one is going to be faster. I see how it goes. Oh, it's faster. So, it has to preload the, 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 the graph mechanics first. So, Amazon, I bought these. Uh, I think I bought 153, I remember. Then, the overnight, I bought at 160, remember. Then I bought 153. So even now I think it's still cheap lah. Okay. Honestly speaking, I think it's still cheap lah. Okay. So yeah, that's why I said I I tell people lah in the channel when you buy ah, you don't buy straight away all at one go, pop up, right? You put it's like your machine gun, right? You divide your how much you want to put in Amazon, let's say. Okay. Then you divide it by 100. And then you just keep shooting at it lah. As it goes down, pop, 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 Then your bullet will never run out. Okay. Wow, but Robert, divide by 100 is too much. Well, if you're the kind that buys every day, I don't think it's too much lah. Right? Number one. For me, I... That's Daniel's technique lah. He divides to 100, then you just keep shooting. Pop, 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 pop. That means one shot is that. One bullet lah. Okay. You can see sometimes you know the guy experience or not by uh, the way he do things, uh, right? So this is the first one, the first uh, this, uh, support uh, for me, uh. Robert. When are you gonna buy next? Well, just buy at the support points. You also can, also does, also it works. It doesn't mean that it doesn't work, right? So yesterday I bought one five three. I got I one five three. I remember. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think today we go down that low anymore. Why 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 won't go down that low, Robert? Because fundamentally there's nothing wrong with the market. Six months ago or three months ago or two months ago or one month ago, every fucking little thing has always been the same. It's been the same uh, old Amazon. There's no change. There's nothing significant that happened in Amazon that uh, affects the fundamentals of Amazon. You all understand not? Okay. Nothing is just suddenly people say oh got recession. Right, got recession. Then everybody got fixed out. Oh got all this all that. Oh got this uh dele uh, uh the yen deleverage. Okay lah, as yen deleverage, I will buy as low as I can. Lah. You give me I eat. That's 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 Robert's uh, technique. You give I eat. Right. I hold it for the long term. I don't think it's gonna go down this low lah, okay? I tell you first. I don't think it's gonna go down this low. If it goes down this low, uh, you 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 go and buy lah. I, I never bluff you, you go and buy lah. You go and sell your assets uh, and buy. I think I'm gonna sell all my um yeah, I'm gonna whack. I'm gonna put one more bullet in if one huge uh not bullet uh ammo uh, 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 a nuclear bomb in palm in top up my account uh, that means Okay, that means I will sell my land, uh, maybe a bit lower, then I just take it, eat it up. Eat up Amazon, yeah, and the rest also, uh, the meta and the rest. So, first things first, uh, uh, I just want to say that it's not over yet. Uh, the the, the, the deleveraging is not over. 
this is the first stage of the deleveraging. Later is gonna come. Okay. Later is gonna come. A bit more. So you all wait now, nah, relax. Nah. Let's say I let's say uh yesterday I bought at five five three yet. One five four, one five three lah. Then the next stock I buy is a uh, one four nine. Right, one four nine, one four eight point four five. Then the next one I buy here. So I have to set really, you know, in my app. Uh, I buy here, buy there. And I have to keep watching. I don't have to keep watching. They just put GTC. Uh. I just hope the GTC can also work in the overnight trading. Then I don't have to feel so stressed. Uh. Okay. By the way, uh, uh, these past few days, whenever the market crash, I feel so alive. Uh. It's like... It's better than I see all this going up, pay high, pay high. It's like, wow, got nothing to do. Nah, nah, go down really, at least got something to do, something to buy, something to invest. Okay. So yesterday, my son come here and tell me, that why you buy Amazon? Ah? Amazon is wow, it's very expensive. Look at the PE and all that. I say that if you look at the PE, ah, and then look at the PE alone, ah, you want to end up with some lousy ass shit company. Ah? I say I do him. Right. You cannot just look at the PE, you must look at the forecasted growth and you must look at the business itself, whether the modes are enough, right? Whether it's strong enough, whether the modes are enough, what kind of products are it going to develop and all that? And he was like, huh, I don't understand, he said. Got to explain to him the whole thing, the valuation thing. And then, yeah. So PayPal yesterday went down to 58. Uh. It was opportunity to buy, so I bought some more. Uh, Disney also bought a bit more, right? As it went down, I think it was 87, 86. I think Disney can go to 80. Day. I think 80, 80 can buy. Uh. Okay. So far, I think went down... By, ten, by, by, by quite a bit uh, but then now you go back up again after hours let's we'll see how it goes uh. mm, so far uh, after earnings uh, the pattern is you usually drop uh, so you wait and relax uh, I think so far I think it's going to drop uh, for me okay. the pattern has always been like that I don't know whether it's going to continue the pattern but if you follow what has happened it's going to like that, then that go down. Okay. This is if you want to trade it, huh? Uh, what else did I buy yesterday? Uh? I don't know. Very tired already. Uh. So yesterday somebody asked about VET. Okay. Uh, is this a worth a buy or not? Well, uh, the best thing to look at this is actually look at the natural gas uh, to this one prices uh, because ultimately this is what they are dealing with right okay so natural gas prices uh, is actually low right it's approaching the lows uh, right 1.677 oh the lowest was about 1.5 like yesterday i said 1.8 as well as 1.5 so I don't think we are going to approach that low uh, this much. I think maybe 1.7 is the most it's going to go to. Uh, my, my, my take is somewhere here, uh, my, my belief. Okay. Now, you're going to ask me, Robert, what is the thing when it was in during COVID? Is it like that, uh, around this price? Uh? So, do you expect the price to go back to COVID prices again of natural gas? If you do, then uh, maybe you wait a bit, low, uh, wait until the price go down very low, right? Maybe 1.7, then you start buying uh, the VET, okay? So VET, uh, even after this drop, it may drop some more to maybe. Uh, I won't think is I don't think it's gonna be one dollar sixty nine or two dollar price, uh, because if it goes to two dollar price, uh, this is where you must start buying, okay? For me, uh, I think here is really can buy, lah. Uh, 465 lah. Okay. 465 is a buy already. This is very low already. So when the price of natural gas drops at low, right? The first thing you do and the maybe two dollars. Uh, I think two dollars uh, you buy uh, this one very fast five bagger one. You wait one two years and uh, become five bagger or four bagger already. Okay. So this one, I think, uh, buy a bit, but one more, one more bullet, uh, a few more bullets uh, from the five dollar side. 
there's only one more bullet left if you buy here eight dollars side right? one more is about the five dollar uh, five dollar fifty that region okay so the answer is uh, do, you, do i think it's going to reach that low i don't think so really. you see uh for this one uh it touch a bit only you know then start we go up then touch a bit only then say we bounce up like that like like a rocket okay it bounce up like a rocket ta, 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 okay now so so first question is is there covid no there's no covid right there's nothing that that suggests uh, there's gonna be some kind of a uh, supply or whatever like whatever you want to call it like. there's nothing to suggest that there's going to be something super bad event that's happening like. right in fact if there's a war this should go up like. if there's a war natural gas should go up about like, the prices All right so looking at this if this will go, go actually uh as a commodity uh uh, uh, uh that one investor uh, what you want to do is you wait until it goes down very low, right? And then the company start posting losses, right? That is when everybody gets very pessimistic and then you buy low, right? Because you cannot operate at a loss, ma. You think about it. Then a lot of the the smaller guys, they are going to tau, you know? They are going to uh, tau means what? Uh, go bankrupt. Uh. They're going to go bankrupt. They're going to fall like a domino. Then even the big guys are going to uh cut production so when they cut production uh, the supply uh, comes down so when the supply comes down right and this kind of thing is not very far to go up push up oh i want to supply i want to make that i still will make today no like there's a lag time you know between the drills and that one right okay so i think uh maybe to increase the production it will take like one year because you need to apply permit and do all that shit. then one year then you can increase production Okay, so it's not like something say oh, I want to increase production. It's not like something I can do it instantly like that. I don't think so, eh. Okay, it's not something you can do instant. Yeah, this is in Canada lah. Uh, Vermilion is in Canada. I prefer Canadians one eh. I don't know why also, but what I'm concerned about VET is they are not giving. They should give back. Usually they give the dividend eh. Oh, actually, they give dividend uh, 3.68 percent. Uh, it's not bad, lah. 3.68 percent is not bad. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah. 3.68 percent is not bad. Because I bought this last time, uh, it was a dividend stock at the first. Then I, I buy, right? The dividend was a lot last time, you know. Okay. But then they have to later. You see, like usually they give a lot of dividends one. Uh, okay. I don't follow this that much, lah. But then. Uh, I think now, uh, uh, during this crisis, uh, it might be worth a look. Uh. Kelanova, DoorDash, Grill. Not bad. Uh. Kelanova, I think I held this before. I forgot what price I bought it also. Flash crash only. La, this one. After that, it's going to rebound, I think. Yeah. You see, the Japanese one rebound. La, that means la, there's a high chance la, that the the, the the carry trade won't be happening <laughs> the yen is stabilizing Quite a decent support here. The next support should be somewhere here. So I think it comes in stages, lah. That's what I would say, lah. Right. So Japanese Japan also increased the rates, huh? 
So in other words, I don't think we are going to go back to 115 again, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think we are going to 115 la, because they increase the rates and then you guys are going to lower the rates. La. But, and they're not going to lower it until all the way down. La. So I think it's somewhere in the middle of these extremes. La. I think they're going to stabilize. Yeah. I do believe that the yen and this one is going to stabilize at the middle of these extremes. I don't think it's going to be this so extreme uh, that the, the country can lose so much of the uh, currency in like how many that one is crazy. La, I think 160 minus 114 divided by 114. Imagine the country losing 40% of its uh, currency value. So they have to intervene and they have to increase the interest rates. La. This is no choice. They should have done that long ago. They were playing around, man, I think. Uh, they were playing around then the, the zero interest rate thing. They have no choice but to increase the interest rates. Right. And they should have done so before it gets worse. This is very bad already. This is very dangerous. Right. Now it becomes like bubbly. Okay. It becomes bubbly. So where do I think it's going to go? Well, because now Japanese rates and that one uh, is about... Uh, last time is uh, the spread is almost zero, right? Very small spread, right? When it was here. Uh, zero or very small, uh, basically. Now the spread is still huge, right? Five, still five point something percent. I think the carry trade can still go on eh, if the guy there to... Yeah... The carry trade can still go on, man. Okay. So what they look for is arbitrage. La. They want to borrow. And then they buy an option to hedge, right? And then they, they use this, uh, the difference. Uh, one, they put in money market funnel, right? They take the money and put it in money market funnel. So there's a lot of money. La. That's the problem. Okay. And the problem is exacerbated when you put in the SPY, uh, inside like that let's put the spy inside and then let's start at the beginning of the year 2024 and you all realize how bad it is huh? right so what it means is that this uh, green line uh, is a spy okay this one is a white line the white candles are the japanese yen you can see that most of the rise of the spy is actually precipitated by the japanese yen exchange huh? in other words uh, guys what it means is that this is very simple, lah, very simple logic. Okay. Uh, m the massive rise in the SPY is also partly due to the uh, yen. Lah. Okay. A lot of people borrow money from yen. So there's a lot of leverage going on in the SP 500. Okay. Now it's being unwinded and it should be unwinded. So if you ask me, Robert, uh, do you think SPY can drop some more? Obviously, man. Okay. This one can drop some more until... Can drop some more, lah, basically. Can drop some more. Where do I think it's going to drop? Well, if we look at the charts, it has been touching. Suddenly, the SPY overshoots and this thing has to come down a bit. Maybe to about, you know... Yeah, I would, we would say that it's going to lose about... Uh, Or five percent of its value lags, I think, just to catch up with the Japanese yen. Let's say Japanese yen now is stabilized at one four five. We believe that the S and P five hundred needs to lose five percent, give or take. So we take now is one o eight point six two, right? Okay, so yeah, one o eight point six two. So the S and P five hundred is what now the level? Ah, fuck me, man, so hard to S and P. 5186 uh. so 5186 is actually the 108.62% right so we want to touch the Japanese yen. so you got to multiply by 102 so we believe that there is still some space for the S&P 500 to lose some of these uh, gains uh. maybe 4870 like, is where even if the Japanese yen stays there we believe that you know, there's still a possibility of the S&P 500 
to still go down until 4870 lah. Okay. That is my belief lah. Okay. I think it's going to go down somewhere until here. 4870 lah. If, okay, if this is correlated and most of the rise is actually due to the yen that one. So it's going to lose. Okay. This is just a theory, ah. Uh. This is just a not not even theory, uh, 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 that one, ah. Uh. It's not even. It may not even come true, ah. Uh. So, yeah. Please don't act on it, ah. Uh. This is not financial advice. It's just a hypothesis, ah. Uh. Okay. We be. I believe that still can drop some of to four thousand nine. Okay. 